Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. Don't forget, you can also get the source code. Link is in the description. So, without any further ado, let's start this video. In the previous video, we made home page, and now in this video, we menu page. Okay, so let me show you how our menu page looks. Look at this. This is our header we have built already. So this is our menu page starts from here whenever you hover over the item you can see the plates comes up you look at this okay so this is our menu page where you will get every item which we have in which we have available in our restaurant and this is the footer we made in the earlier videos so this is our project that we have built so in this website page when we click on menu it doesn't go anywhere it will not go anywhere i'm clicking on this menu but it is not going there but if i click on this we will go to home page and when we click on menu we will go to menu page how to do this i will teach you Let's get started. Here. So first of all, this is our folder, restaurant website folder, CSS folder, images folder and pages folder. Okay. In this pages folder, we have our index.html file, which is for home page. Okay. And for now menu page, we have to create another HTML file and name it menu html okay now write some basic code here like uh, mandatory codes initial codes so write here html5 and it will give you initial codes okay so save it and menu page okay now we will go to here click on this and still it is not working we are not planning to the menu page why because we didn't added the address to our index to an html file let me show you what i have to do first go to navbar cause this is our navbar so in the navbar where we have to go this one menu and here we have to change the location so right here what is the location menu.html okay let's save it let's go to menu page click on this so we are here our page has changed okay close this so this is our menu.html file and this is our page which is because we have to create so let me change the title from document to menu and here developer dudes restaurant okay let's save it refresh and here you can see the title has changed okay. now what we have to do just go to index all file and copy this nav bar okay because we need this nav bar so copy same codes here in the menu.html file okay in the body paste it okay so we have pasted here and now let's save it let's see what it will show here so here our anchor tag image and everything that is But in this project, but in this project, we are seeing the design navbar. But here it is the why already designed it, but it is not showing here why because we didn't add the CSS file because we didn't add the CSS file to this HTML file. Okay, so what we have to do just 
see index.html file open it and look at here link as i told you in the previous video series go to menu.html and paste it here okay let's save it now come to the project and see see what happened here it comes it designed because we have already written the css code we have already styled it Anna? so you can see here the icons are not showing icons are not visible here just like here they are visible but in this they are not visible why because we didn't add the font or some link okay so when you didn't add the font or some link that so copy this link to the menu.html file paste it here save it and go back to project and check it out so here you can see the icons so we have added the other css file and also the font awesome file now let's see if we click on this home page home but we are not landing to the home page why because we didn't give address dot html files home okay so right here dot html okay now save it now let's check it now we can see so here it is you can go to home page and now you can go to the menu page okay is this good this is how you can make multiple pages website okay so now we are in menu page let's design it so this is our main file css file now we will create let me wait go to css folder create your file menu dot menu dot css this file will work page okay we will write a styling code for our menu here, okay because we don't want to mash up in just a single file okay we will create multiple files for multiple pages okay so now let's connect this file so write here same code that is written our link css and change the path menu of css okay so we have linked here two at two css files okay navbar and create a section here using the div dot menu okay so this is our menu means the main div in which our items this this all item these all items heading these everything will be keep in this div okay we will keep keep everything in this div okay inside this div now create heading one and right here our delicious food save it let's see refresh it okay so our delicious food is here okay now close this we don't need anymore now under this heading create a div write menu box okay in this menu box div we will keep every single menu card like we are creating a box which is called menu box and in this menu box we will keep these sing separate cards okay this card this card this card these all card in this menu box div okay so in this menu box div let's create menu card menu card menu card is for this one like this white color box is menu card div okay now in this menu card div what we have to add write the location of images 
so image image three dot png okay now after the image what we have to add let's see after the image dish name okay after the image we have to add the dish name so you will add four for that dish name after the dish name let's add some paragraph p and uh, some 30 words okay 30 words are now for the price use a span tag write here dollar let's save it hey, now so here we have our menu page oh my god how it is looking totally messed up so now it's time to style this look where are the codes for all boxes because these are so we don't need to write multiple codes matlab means separate code for them we will just copy and paste every div we will copy and paste this div menu card div again and again for every each of this okay so let's style it and we will style it and then copy and paste okay first target the body right body and background so we are changing the background image linear okay so right here 45 degree white 70% comma rgb 25254 Let's let me show you Look at this Something is changed let me show you So you can see this corner is white and when we refresh it this becomes a little pink. So what this code did it did like uh, this one pink color and this all over the white okay. So you can use linear gradient for this. Thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see next. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. See you in the next video.